Full of hot air? Well, then it's time to chill out. And hey, more terrible puns headed your way. Here's your flight fix. Welcome to the Serious Approach Flight Fix, the bite-sized flight training show dedicated to those cool pilots who never stop learning. You know, one system that I'm personally a big fan of <laughs> is the environmental system. Sure, on paper it might seem a, like a little bit more of a creature comfort than a necessary safety item, but the environmental system in your airplane is critical in keeping you and your passengers comfortable. And for the pilot, there's just no question that a bit of environmental comfort really does reduce fatigue, especially over those longer flights, and it increases focus and improves your overall safety. But this is no environment for a heated discussion on climate, horrible puns. No, for that, we're gonna need to chill out in the temperature-controlled pretend hangar. Air conditioning systems found in most GA airplanes are really no different than what you'd find in most cars or homes. These vapor cycle machines may look quite different from one application to another, but the basic design is much the same. It all starts with a compressor, and that sends high-pressure vapor to a condenser that cools the vapor into a high-pressure liquid. Next, it's dried, removing water and potentially some debris. It's dried in what's called a receiver dryer unit, and then pumped through an expansion valve, which by using the magic, magic of, science, of science, turns the hot, high-pressure liquid into a cold, low-pressure liquid and sends it through an evaporator. Cabin air is circulated around it where heat is exchanged and the cabin air is cooled while the liquid is heated. As the liquid heats up, it turns back into a gas and is sent back to the compressor to repeat the process all over again. So, let's slow it down for a second and retrace that process in your Cirrus. <laughs> but first, why don't you help us keep the hangar lights on? This Flight Fix episode is brought to you by the Cirrus SR Systems course. With 66 videos weighing in at over four and a half hours of delicious snackable content, the learning taps into the collective SR series knowledge of Cirrus aircraft engineers and flight instructors. Expertly crafted 2D and 3D animations help you to blend the intricacies of each major SR series system with the need to know operational perspective of the everyday pilot. So to increase confidence on your next flight and to look way smarter in front of your passengers, head on over to cirrusapproach.com and start learning SR systems right now. Hey, there we go. Now, if you're cool enough to have the optional air conditioning system installed in your SR series airplane, the compressor itself is actually engine driven while the rest of the system is electrically driven. From the compressor, the refrigerant is sent to the condenser and receiver dryer, which is located under the baggage floor, before it then heads back forward to that expansion valve and evaporator that are sitting just under the front right seat. An electric blower pushes either fresh or recirculated air through the evaporator coils where it's cooled and then distributed for you and your passengers' enjoyment. To maximize the cooling airflow and minimize backseat complaining, I don't like that, son. Yep. Select panel only, then set the blower to three and open whichever panel vents you need. Then press the little snowflake button to turn the AC system on. Now, if you're on the ground, pressing the recirculation button moves a set of valves to make the system a little more efficient by rerouting the already cool cabin air back through the evaporator again, helping you to cool down the cabin that much faster. So just remember, it's a limitation that you never fly with that recirc system on. So, I think it's safe to say this is probably one of our coolest episodes yet, right guys? But to tap into the massive video training library from your pals at Cirrus Approach, head on over to cirrusapproach.com to continue learning. But if you have a burning question, terrible pun that's hot on your mind, be sure to comment below or to really talk at us. Send comments, questions, biting critiques, or loving praise to learning at cirrusaircraft.com. 
We're here in the Cirrus Aircraft Vision Jet today, descending to flight level 220 down to 190. We're on a standard arrival into the JFK Airport in the New York City metro area. We've had a great flight so far from Knoxville up to New York City, and uh, we've learned a lot already. Learning is a lifestyle, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next fix.